Hello everyone, this is meteorologist John Keyes with the latest on the eclipse forecast all the way through Monday. We're still expecting smooth sailing into the weekend. The only change might be with it being so dry out there, increasing fire danger across the area. But that does not mean we're going to see widespread wildfires or anything like that. Just something to think about. Also looking at the potential for again by Sunday afternoon into Monday, increasing clouds, some showers and thunderstorms. So again, not ideal conditions for the eclipse. Still going with the phrase, it's all about the timing. Like we said, not much to talk about over the next few days until we get to Sunday. The dry air is allowing for temperatures in the overnight hours to cool off quite a bit, especially in some of the higher valleys, higher elevations, also the typical cold spots this time of year heading into the latter half of summer. Afternoon highs running in the mid-80s in many areas, some places trying to push towards 90 degrees. Up in the mountains, plenty of 60s and 70s across the board. Into tomorrow, we're warming up just a little bit more. Those mountain areas looking at those 30s we may see some of the higher valleys some of the Stanley Basin some of the Copper Basin areas even some places over into western Wyoming pushing to add or just below freezing for a handful of hours by the time we get towards sunrise each day and that does mean we'll have to contend if you're out and about being properly prepared for hypothermia frostbite that kind of thing Saturday that trend continues across the board as we head into Sunday temperatures probably trying to drop off a couple of degrees simply because of the increase in clouds, and that trend continues into Monday. Now, it's going to be interesting. Monday might be, the unfortunately, the day has the most clouds and precipitation in the forecast. By the time we get to Tuesday, afternoon highs are warming up if you're going to be sticking around that long across our area. Now, not much like we said in the way of cloud cover until we get to the weekend. This is an experimental product we're working with, trying to indicate a lot of the mid- and high-level cloud cover across the area. We go into Saturday afternoon, maybe some cumulus developing across the mountains, but our attention turns to the south as we go into Saturday night into Sunday. You can see the moisture increasing from the south, and again during the day on Sunday, that moisture will develop into at least some developing cloud cover in terms of cumulus clouds and some isolated showers and thunderstorms across the area. And we'll take this loop through sa Sunday night into early Monday morning, and you can see that basically there will be clouds across the area. Still not 100% sure where we'll see breaks in the clouds. We may not know until Sunday and when, that, when and where that occurs and isolated, least isolated showers and thunderstorms Monday morning and with an uptick in activity in the afternoon. For the latest weather, you can go to weather.gov slash Pocatello. If you're following us on social media, that includes Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, go to NWS Pocatello.